Hi guys, in today's video, we are going to see experienced people interview strategy. What are the mistakes they should avoid while before sitting in any interview? But before starting and talking about this strategy, I have a great news for you. An Academy has launched Next Level app. The name Next Level app, which will also give you a grip in your preparation. You can showcase your expertise and skills, get professional rating and on the basis of rating, you can unlock the jobs and you can build your profile by coding competition, competition with your friends. So you can have fun gameplay along with the learning. Isn't this nice? And guess what? Next Level has partnered with multiple top companies. So download the app, invite your friend, have fun. And the best part is it's free of cost download this app you can use my referral code in the description to get an easy access to the content and become an early adapter of this app all the details related to this app and the link is there in the description you can go ahead and download the app now let's jump into this video ah let's dig into the preparation strategy basically there are two ways anyone can approach to prepare for an interview what are those top down approach or bottom up approach now, what is top down and bottom up approach as I am now five years of experience. So I personally prefer top down approach now, but as a fresher, I used to follow bottom up approach. Now let's go brief into the strategies. What is top down approach as a fresher, you know, what exactly is needed in an interview, but with experience, you don't know what is there in the market and what is the version or the technology is in demand in the market or you may be working on some profile, but you want to switch your profile from X to Y on based of your experience and little bit expertise because throughout the five year, you became that much expertise that you know what path you should go for. And this is the right time. I personally believe that you should follow top down approach. Top down approach means sit in an interview first, then start your preparation accordingly. So it's completely okay to start with embarrassment, uh, embarrassment of not knowing anything in an interview. I mean, it's okay to get rejected at the first place with your interviews experience, start making notes, start asking questions from your interviewer, start taking feedback from your interviewer, not related to how you performed in an interview, but what you can do to improvise yourself or where you should focus to fit into this role. Make a note of each and every interview questions, each and every topics and start preparing on based of your notes. Then start appearing for in, for number of for multiple interviews again and again with along with your preparation. So how it will help you? You will keep on making note and you will start uncovering the level of your interview. So once you start sitting in an interview and you start taking notes, then you will start preparing yourself according to the notes and you will go deeper and deeper into that uh, topic. So basically going deeper means setting up a level like what is expected from you and go and sit for in an interview and see the level, how much deep they are going in any technology or suppose any language, how much deeper they are digging. So with this, you will get an idea like, okay, with a, from a five year of experience, this is what expected. This much level is needed for my preparation. It won't take much time of yours because you are sitting in an interview with a purpose, purpose of analyzing the roles. What is there to lose? You won't lose hope. You won't get demotivated because you are sitting with a purpose, not for an offer. Now, meanwhile, remember one thing, never do this mistake. Never make the interview, the profile based interview to go into your direction because they are looking for some profile. If you are not fitting into that profile, they will simply reject you. Are you getting me? So profile based interview is different than a fresher or a mass hiring interview. In the mass hiring, you make the interviewer go into your field of interest and you make the interviewer ask questions from your field of interest and you crack it. But in the profile based interview, it is not the same case. If the interviewer thinks your profile is not matching, they will simply reject you, even though you are good in your field of interest. So never make your interview going in your direction while you are sitting for a profile based interview. Try to know the questions or know what interviewer is expecting, what interviewer is expecting from you. 
what is expected for that role this is the scenario when you want that profile okay but if you think i want the exact profile i worked previously then you can be honest with the interviewer and after all this hustle and bustle which will not take much time so that's how you can analyze the market in two weeks and remember one thing say yes to each and every company at the first place you don't expect the offer from them even if they are giving uh, the offer you can take it but yeah never say no to any company at the first place making the more company you will be sitting the better notes you will be making along with uh, you can take two weeks for your interviews after they after that you can take a one week gap you can prepare well you can again start sitting with a purpose of an offer so in 3 to 4 weeks you will you will be having an offer and that is experimented by myself i did not started with any preparation i was sitting with blank mind what the profile is expecting okay it's okay i was trying to fit myself into that profile for 2 weeks it's fine after 3 weeks of preparation along with the along with the interviews you will you will be keep on preparing yourself right so with 3 weeks of preparation like this you can land up with an offer in the fourth week now let's talk about the bottom up approach bottom up approach it really works for a fresher because freshers are sit or a mass recruitment in mass recruitment you don't know the profile so they will recruit in mass and any of your uh, speciality is good for them right so if if there's a mass hiring or if there is a like a fresher hiring then you can go with the bottom up approach bottom up approach means bottom up approach means you will start your preparation like what you know and then you will start sitting into any interview so one or two weeks of preparation then from third week you will start sitting in an interview fourth week it really depends on your preparation how much time it takes to get an offer but this approach could be exhaustive and it could be like demotivating while you lose the offer because you mentally know i have worked so hard i have prepared so well for this profile but i'm not getting it so it is kind of mentally exhausting i think it is exhausting for me as a experienced people looking for a good offer so i personally believe, believe that top down approach really works for worked it really worked for me at the end both the approaches are right and it really depends on you what demotivates or exhaust you the preparation or the rejection so if the preparation exhaust you then go for top top down approach if the rejection is exhaust you then go for bottom up approach so it really depends on person to person what demotivates them what exhausts them so hope you like this video and the preparation strategy if you like this video don't forget to press thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet thank you guys thank you for watching